wanted to point out about Deuteronomy 23 how the, the Lord is, God is very thorough with his book. I once asked um, a nephew of mine if he could tell me what this meant. And he had to look into one of his versions. But I tell you that if the Lord, if you ask the Lord, the Lord will show you this. And I don't mean to make light of this, not at all. But okay, I just want to say that right off the bat. But listen to this in Deuteronomy twenty-three, twelve: Thou shalt have a place also without the camp, whither thou shalt go forth abroad. Okay, you know what that's talking about. Now let's read on. And thou shalt have a paddle upon thy weapon, and it shall be, when thou wilt ease thyself abroad, thou shalt dig therewith, and shalt turn back and cover that which cometh from thee. For the Lord thy God walketh in the midst of thy camp to deliver thee, and to give up thine enemies before thee. Therefore shall thy camp be holy, that he see no unclean thing in thee, and turn away from thee. Okay, do you know what it means now? Shall have a a paddle upon thy weapon, and it shall be when thou wilt ease thyself abroad, thou shalt dig therewith, and shalt turn back and cover that which cometh from thee. It's like a cat in a litter box. But it's just to me, you know, it's 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 a natural thing, you know, it's something that God you know, God ordained for us to put away from us, you know, that which does us no good anymore. It leaves us. And then uh you know, we can make a spiritual application r right quick, you know, where, you know, there's, there's certainly things that attach the itself, themselves to us each day. Um, you know, sin, things we hear, um, evil thoughts. And just as God has allowed uh, naturally things that, w that are dirty, that, that started off as good, you know, maybe. Well, I mean, yeah, you have food, you know. We don't need it anymore, Okay. That's the way things can even turn in our lives that are good. You know, they can turn sour, they can turn bad, because corrupt communication, you know, that, uh, it says in the Bible, I was just listening to a fellow on YouTube, his, his name is uh, Mike Hogart. He's talking about uh, corrupt, cor corrupt communication, um, ah, I'm, I'm going to say the wrong word, but hindereth good manners, I mean, that's not how the verse states it, but... Um, anyway, let no corrupt communication c come forth out of thy mouth. Um, th that comes to mind. But corrupt something, something, good manners. <laughs> I got my Bible program open up. I probably ought to look it up. But but you could too. You get a Bible program, look it up. i do it right now, but I got my hands occupied and, and we're holding the camera and all that. But the point is, here's what cleanses us from all sin. God's word. Thy word have I hidden mine heart that I might not sin against thee. We need to each day yield ourselves to the hearing of God's word so that God can use his word to cleanse us, to make us new. From, you know, out of my flesh proceedeth no good thing, you know, but the God's spirit and his word will cleanse us. Sanctify them through thy truth, Jesus prayed to God. Thy word is truth. I know that's John 17:17. 17, 17. And God can sanctify us, cleanse us, set us apart. There's another thought that I have about Deuteronomy 13, and I'll, I'll make that next.